is a best-selling author. His latest book, The Burglar Who Counted Spoons, is available for pre-order on Amazon. Please welcome Lawrence Blog, everybody. Lawrence Blog. <laughs> Larry, 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 it's great to see you. Now, look, before we even start, have you made a sex tape? No. Are you sure? Maybe on VHS or uh, vinyl? It was... <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did? Yeah, all right, all right. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, it's a Bernie Rodenbar book, The Burglar. It is. Yeah, it I is. thought you weren't going to write any more Bernie Rodenbars. I wasn't going to write any more books at all. What do you mean? Hmm? You, you've got to write books. You're an author. So it appears. <laughs> well, what were you going to do? Host Project Runway All Stars or something? <laughs> I thought I was retired. I don't think you can retire from writing, Larry. I don't think that's allowed. Uh, I think you, you write it's, until... It's, it's evidently not. Right. I, I made a complete dog's breakfast of retirement. It, yeah. It hasn't worked at all. Well, what were you going to do in retirement? Were you going to, like, a bocce ball or something? Or... I hadn't even thought of that. Well, that's why you... I mean, in order to retire, you have to have a plan. Ah. <laughs> That's why it didn't work. Well, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. So, now, but this one, did you self-publish this or something? Yes, yes. So what does that mean? It means that you self-publish it. Get to, I get to keep all the money. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, if, if there is any. Well, I'm sure there'll be some. It's, uh, it, it's very good. I like the Bernie Road bars. They're whimsical. They're, they're a little more whimsical than your usual it is, stuff. It is. Yeah. Uh, Bernie is uh, a very nice fellow. Yeah. Uh, with one character flaw. He's a burglar. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he's a pretty good burglar. That's why he's still out doing things. Yeah. As opposed to the prisoner who counted spoons. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Did you who uh, sharpened spoons? Yeah. What? What? The prisoner. Oh, sharpened spoons. Yeah. See, there you went dark again, right there. I did. Didn't I, did. I know. I know. I'm, I'm never a step away from. No, the you're always pretty close yeah. to the dark side. I. Uh, <laughs> have you? Are you still going on cruises with uh, with Lynn? I <clears throat> I am, but I went on a cruise without Lynn in order to write this. So you write the the books on cruises? I did on this. I I uh, got on a cruise ship which left from Boston and then returned to Boston. So mm. you, got, you got nowhere, essentially. But, but it, <laughs> I see what you mean, yeah. But, it, it but took, where, where did it... Uh, it took five weeks to do it. It went around the North Atlantic. Five weeks in the North Atlantic? Yes. Wow, you crazy bastard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> where, did you go to Iceland? And, uh, yes. oh, oh, how of, was that? A lot of time in Iceland. Um, I didn't get out much. <laughs> I was sitting in the cabin writing most of the time. I did get off the ship a couple of times. But well, why don't you lot. just, if, if, why don't you save a little money and just uh, use a room that isn't going anywhere and write there? If you're not going to get out of the room, why does it have to be on a ship? Because I can't get away when I'm on the ship. I'm sort of stuck there. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, and you can't. Also, also yeah. when I, when I <clears throat> decided to do this, I didn't really know if I'd be able to write another book. Truth. Really? Uh, yeah, I didn't know. It's been a lot of well, years. You've been it's talking about this Ooh, la, la. for there's years, though. I mean. <laughs> there's a certain softening of the brain that comes with age. Mm. And I was afraid it might have come, and I would, how would I know, you know? Well, uh, you, you know, somebody would tell you. <laughs> People don't tell you. Really? Yeah. So yeah. it may have happened to me as well? Yeah. <laughs> I think you still got your edge. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I think I'm a hack now. That's the beginning of wisdom. When <laughs> <laughs> really? I like that. Yeah. Hackness is the beginning of wisdom. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I, I'm very pleased with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheered me up. So are you going to, is, is this the last book then, or are you going to write more? Well, 
I'm just not going to say that any, you know, sooner or later, everybody who's stops writes, writing. Stops writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They could put that on it. He stopped writing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm afraid your husband stopped writing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid your pig stopped writing. <laughs> yeah. The goldfish stopped writing. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'm talking about is death here, eh, obviously. <laughs> God. You didn't think I was talking about that? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you should go into acting. This is really good, what you're doing right now. I think that'd be good. Go into acting now. At this late date? Well, it's not so. that late. What are you, 71? 75. 75? I know. So maybe it's time to retire. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's just a number, man. It doesn't matter. It's particularly if you're a writer. It really, I don't, I don't have any truck with any of this retirement. Um, okay. It's, it's not, not necessary. Out of it. Yeah, good. Yeah. So what about another Scudder book then? <laughs> ah. ah, you're incorrigible. Yes, I, I am. I, I don't know. I, I would love it if it would happen. But, you know, Scudder is my age. Right. Well, that's good. Yeah, you write a, <laughs> write a book about, and Scudder never, never leaves the, the, the easy chair in front of the TV. Oh, no, no, no. You got, well, first of all, you've got your flashbacks, right? Yeah. Then you've got the, uh, the Young Apprentice thing. You could do the Name of the Rose thing, where Scudder is, like, called out of retirement for one last deal, and he's like, ah, I don't want to do it. And there's, like, the, but the, the serial killer's going crazy. Look, I'll Crock it. write it, Larry. Just, <laughs> just, just let me do it. Deal. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. I, 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 I am. No, but that was a good start. Well, yeah. I mean, maybe that's what it is. You have to bring him out retire. He doesn't want to do it. Maybe he's in a, a retirement home. That'd be exciting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People love retirement home mysteries. <laughs> or you could do a prequel. You could just go back to an early part of his life. What does it matter? You know. You're starting to talk me into it. Yeah, I'm saying, do it. Just, just go, go in, just go down with it. What are you thinking? Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. You know the movie's coming out. When? Yeah, uh, not till September. But I saw the final cut of it. Oh, is it good? It's wonderful. Oh, it's a Liam Neeson is Scudder. That's that's the he, way to go. He's, yeah. He's, he's brilliant. There's no time. Quickly, get over here. <laughs> Yeah. We have to solve this crime. You do it, Jeff. Quickly, there's no time. Quickly. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quickly. That's it. Well, come back and talk to us when the movie comes out then. Absolutely. All right then. Larry Block, everybody. Larry Block. <laughs>